This video is going to be a review of the Snark Clip-On Tuner for Guitar. This is the box, extremely fast and accurate, tap tempo, metronome, pitch calibration, tune with vibration sensor or microphone. I've got one of these on another guitar and I just, I think I tune it with the vibration. I'm not sure if I tune it with the microphone or how you would even do that. So view from any angle, kind of true, kind of not. When I'm outside, it's really difficult to see. Sometimes the angle is not that easy uh, to see the whole display. Tunes guitar, bass, and all instruments. So I guess it's chromatic. I think that's what this one is. Uh, that's the rest of the box. Let's see what we have here. Same thing, tune with vibration or microphone, pitch calibration, metronome. Never used the metronome, only when I first bought it. Uh, stay on clip sturdy. Some people have complained that it breaks off, but I have not had any problems so far. So let me take it out of the box now and we'll test it out. If memory serves me, this allows you, I could be wrong, but I, I believe it allows you, if you have a capo on, to, uh, to tune to the first through, I believe, the fifth fret, even with the capo on. But, uh, alright, let me unbox this now and we'll test it out here. I think it uses a CR2032 battery. It's one of those watch batteries. Not really a watch battery. It uses one of the batteries that goes in a computer for the BIOS. So it's kind of big and round. Um, battery lasts about a year or two easily. And then when it goes dead, you just buy one for a couple bucks or buy a package online for five bucks and you get 20 batteries that will last you forever. There it is out of the box. And as always in all of my videos, the dog likes to be involved in every review that I do. And there she is, my rescue girl. Hold on. All right, back to the uh, tuner. So what they do recommend is do not leave it on the guitar. They're worried about it damaging certain finishes. So they say tune it and then take it off right away. I've kept mine on for years. I haven't had a problem with it. I didn't even know about this, but on the side, you've got a mic or vibration switch. I'm not even sure what my other one is set to, but <clears throat> you can use the internal mic to do the tuning or the vibration if you have it mounted on there. Uh, what else do we have on here? We have a pitch calibration on the right that allows you, so this is a chromatic tuner, so that will allow you to go up and down with uh, if you want to tune to 440 or not. We have, what is this thing over here? This is, um, you have the, the flat button over there. That's where I was telling you if you put the capo on the first fret, you press the flat button, you're going to get a flat symbol on the display. And that will be for the first fret. You press it again, you'll get two flats, all the way up to five flats, so you can tune it up to the uh, with a capo. You can ca keep the capo on the fifth fret, and it will show you the proper tuning for E, even though it's on the uh, fifth fret for A. The button's over here, up and down. That is uh, for switching, I believe, your pitch calibration. And also... Oops, the button over here, where is that? That is your metronome. Does it say metronome? Yeah, tap metronome. So let's put this on the guitar now and we'll test it out. So here we have a, uh, it swivels, it's got a swivel ball on it. And I'm going to put this on the headstock now. And the guitar is totally not tuned up. My voice is in F to B, as we can see. Let me get a little better picture there. There we go. So I'm going to check the first string. This is set for vibration. And so when you get the blue over there, that means that it's in tune. When you start getting into yellow, that means it's, uh, I believe, sharp. And red is flat. So I want to go to E. That's good enough for me. And when you tune a guitar like this with one of these tuners, you don't want to do a little plucking like... You really want to press hard like that. You want to get that string shaking and vibrating so you can find out the, the highs and the lows and try to get to a medium point. 
a midpoint for the string. It's going a little sharp, but that's okay. That's the A we just did. Let's do the D. dog is right down at my feet. She loves when I play the guitar for her at night. Come on now, you can't go here. No, no. She just wants to, she loves to curl up next to me when I play the guitar at night and just falls asleep, drifts off. So we've done E, A, D, G. G is always, almost always out of tune. This sits at my mom's house for a few days and then I come over and tune it up and play. The newer version, I believe the ST, I think this is the ST-2 that I told you, it, uh, it's still holding the tune. Wow, I've held that vibration for a long time. Um, it's supposed to have a better, more accurate tuning. I like this. It's not as it doesn't bounce around as much as the other one that I had before. And it's not shark, it's snark. Super tight. Oh yes. We all want super tight when we're tuning. Okay, so this is picking up vibration. You can hear, you see we about when I talk bop 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 bop. But when it's uh, when I'm playing, I'm able to talk and it doesn't really mess it up that much. Lightly plucking, I'm on a hard pluck. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's check that again. Yeah, that sounds good. What I want to do, I'm going to pop this on mic really fast. I've never done this. I'll put this on mic and see what happens with the tuning. She is a little high with the mic. And he is a little low. That's interesting. Let's go back over to the vibration again. Okay, so I'm happy with it. Let's check it out now, see what this thing does. to me. The dog is happy. The dog's loving it. Used to work with somebody that played guitar for about 30 some years. Never bought a tuner. Always tuned it, tuned the guitar to itself. And I, I asked him, I said, why don't you go out and spend $12 and buy a tuner? If you're going to play guitar for this many years, why not tune your guitar easily, quickly, accurately. Whoa, that didn't sound right. That's something's way off there. What did I just do? E, A, D, G, B. I don't know why that did that. I so said, why not buy a tuner?
that gets you tuned in seconds and that's accurate so you don't have to do this whole tuning to itself which I just don't get it if you play guitar if you're a beginning guitar person go out and buy the snark tuner this thing is awesome it's easy to use it uh, the batteries last a long time and it's just the way to go this on Amazon I get uh, no money for doing this video unless you want to help me out and donate to my PayPal channel I would love that I just do these videos to help everybody so if you want to do a thumbs up a subscribe a like it would definitely help me out as a YouTube creator and I'm gonna put a an affiliate link for Amazon down in my description if I can find it so that you can buy this and it will uh, maybe get me two cents so thanks for watching everybody